what happens is, is like when you're a beginner, you have to learn these kicks. So either we learn them very stiff, or we learn them very wild, and we just kind of drive through really hard, like you would see in like an MMA type roundhouse. It, I mean, they're powerful. They're just sloppy. Once you get good with kicking, you have to find what your center is and understand what it is. You have to understand how, how the kick works. When a kick comes up, ideally what happens is, is you kick, and then your center of mass goes with that kick for a fraction of a second. It has to, because if you just flick the leg, it doesn't do anything. The problem is, is most people don't have that ability to take that center and bring it back to a position where they can move properly. What they do is they throw their center and then they drop. Or they're really stiff and they go like this. Your center's fluid, it moves if you know how to do it. So if I throw a kick out, a lot of times if I'm relaxed, I can take this and bring it to another position and use it somewhere else. If you're going to do that, you have to have the ability to sit and feel your center, but you also have to have a lot of rotation in your hips and your knees. If you're a very tight person, you will never be able to do any of this work because you just don't have the ability to move those hips properly. Where people fail is, is they go like this and they don't have the ability to say, I want to kick this way. Now, it's okay, and I want to continue the motion up. So I kick this way, and now I want to turn the back that way. Or I want to come and take something. Say I caught someone's leg, or I move something, and then I want to return it. People don't, if you have to take this, sink, reestablish your weight, turn the shot. And that allows you to come off angles that are unique. So as I come in, a lot of times you see how like I'm not coming just straight. I can come in on these, I come in on these circles, and then I recircle, I come back the other way. Or I come in, or I come back, because my hips are loose enough to go on multiple angles. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that if I had to take something and move my leg, what I want to do is I want to move it and have the ability to come back. I want to move it, have the ability to come back. If you're very tight, you won't. How this works is after you throw whatever you're throwing, you have to now sit into your center again. At that point, you should be able to step anywhere you want. So if I throw something and I sit back into my center, I should be able to go like this. It shouldn't go here and here. It shouldn't go here and there. So when you throw these to practice these, you want to really make sure that everything is relaxed and everything sits back to center. And when you throw it, it drops and that you can comfortably go to the next motion. Sometimes when you're in the middle of things, stuff changes, right? You don't always get the perfect shots you want. If we're in movement and I step and I wanted to do this, but all of a sudden I felt threatened and I had to come off the line and had to come into an angle, it changed, right? If I needed to get around a leg and I needed to relax, come in that way, or I needed to come through it, come that way, because I have an obstacle. I can't do this to get there. I'm gonna have to relax that leg and swing it around to come back in the other direction. So if I catch something, right? Sometimes I have to have this ability to come back and recover from the shot I just threw. So if he kicks at me and I catch it, sometimes I have to have that ability. If he comes at me and I catch it, you know, if I'm relaxed enough, I can follow the motion. If I'm stiff when he does this, we're gonna collide and I'm going down. So just see how like right there he fell? Because I moved, I created a hole for him to fall into. As he came in, I escaped and went right back into the shot I won. Now, these are not sport kicks. They're not meant for fancy stuff. This is inside fighting against someone you really want to defend yourself against. And when you throw these, you're going into joints. You're going into joints. You're not trying to get a point here, guys. As he hits, I'm trying to roll ankles. I'm trying to push on them. I'm trying to go to targets that are more viable if you want to put someone down immediately. Groin too, obviously, right? He comes in, back in, 
back again. So anything in the triangle is really bad. That's where you want to aim. So how do you practice this? When he kicks, you have to get used to the idea of just kind of getting your leg out of the way. Right? And feel the circles in your hips. Once you feel the circles in your hips, as you make that motion there, I have to regain my weight, make sure I'm centered here. And then I can just whip it out. And throw it. And then you start getting interested. It's like you get all these neat kicks, right? You start playing with directions and things you could throw. You know, you want to come into other stuff. It's fine. But eventually what happens is, is they become relaxed like your hands should be. If you have relaxed hands, why should you like to be any different? So, play around with them. Get used to the idea of playing. Get used to the idea of playing with different things, how they can be very relaxed and heavy. But the main part of this is always to say, if you can't find your center of balance and you're falling, none of this is going to work. What's important is everything you throw should be stable and whippy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments and share and hit that notify button to get weekly videos.